show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. <clears throat> let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Like as the smoke vanisheth, so shall thou drive them away. And like as wax melteth at the fire, so let the ungodly perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. Let them also be merry and joyful. O oh, sing unto God, and sing praises unto his name. Magnify him that rideth upon the heavens, as it were upon a horse. Praise him in his name, and rejoice before him. He is a father of the fatherless, and defendeth the cause of the widows, even God in his holy habitation. He is the God that maketh men to be of one mind in an house, and bringeth the prisoners out of captivity, but letteth the runagates continue in scarceness. O God, when thou wentest forth before the people, when thou wentest through the wilderness, the earth shook and the heavens dropped at the presence of God. Even as Sinai also was moved at the presence of God, who is the God of Israel. Thou, O God, sentest a gracious rain upon thine inheritance, and refreshest it when it was weary. Thy congregation shall dwell therein, for thou, O God, hast of thy goodness prepared for the poor. The Lord gave the word, great was the company of the preachers. Kings with their armies did flee and were discomfited, and they of the household divided the spoil. Though ye have lean among the pots, yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove, that is covered with silver wings, and her feathers like gold, when the Almighty scattered kings for their sake, and when they were as white as snow in Salmon. As the hill of Basin, so is God's hill, even an high hill as the hill of Basin. Why hop ye so, ye high hills? This is God's hill in the which it pleaseth him to dwell. Yea, the Lord will abide in it forever. The chariots of God are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels, and the Lord is among them, as in the holy place of Sinai. Thou art God upon high, thou hast led captivity captive, and received gifts for men, yea, even for thine enemies, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Praise be the Lord daily, even the God who helpeth us and poureth his benefits upon us. He is our God, even the God of whom cometh salvation. God is the Lord, by whom we escape death. God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such a one as goeth on still in his wickedness. 
The Lord has said, I will bring my people again as I did from Basan. Mine own will I bring it again as I did sometime from the deep of the sea, that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemies and that the tongue of thy dogs may be read through the same. It is well seen, O God, how thou goest, how thou, my God and King, goest in the sanctuary. The singers go before, the minstrels follow after, in the midst are the damsels playing with the timbrels. Give thanks, O Israel, unto the God in the congregations, from the ground of the heart. There is little Benjamin, their ruler, and the princes of Judah, their council, the princes of Zebulon, and the princes of Naphtali. Thy God hath sent forth strength for thee, establish the thing, O God, that thou hast wrought in us, for thy temple's sake at Jerusalem, so shall kings bring presents unto thee. When the company of the spearmen and multitude of the mighty are scattered abroad among the beasts of the people, so that they humbly bring pieces of silver, and when he hath scattered the people that delight in war, then shall the princes come out of Egypt. The Morian's land shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Sing unto ye, O ye kingdoms of the earth, O sing praises unto the Lord, who sitteth in the heavens over all from the beginning. Lo, he doth send out his voice, yea, and that a mighty voice. Ascribe ye the power of God over Israel, his worship and strength is in the clouds. O God, wonderful art thou in thy holy places, even the God of Israel. He will give strength and power unto his people. Blessed be God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the 31st chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, beginning at the 14th verse. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thy days approach that thou must die. Call Joshua, and present yourselves in the tabernacle of the congregation, that I may give him a charge. And Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord appeared in the tabernacle in a pillar of a cloud, and the pillar of the cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a-whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me, and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them. So that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought, and that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that the song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers, that floweth with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxen fat, then will they turn unto other gods and serve them, and provoke me, and break my covenant. And it shall come to pass, when many evils and troubles are befallen them, that this song shall testify against them as a witness. For it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed, 
for I know their imagination in which they go about even now, before I have brought them into the land which I swear. Moses therefore wrote this song the same day, and taught it to the children of Israel. And he gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a charge, and said, Be strong and of good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass, when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in a book until they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites, which bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of the law, and put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for witness against thee. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, why I am yet alive with you this day, ye have been rebellious against the Lord, and how much more after my death. Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, and call heaven and earth to record against them. For I know that after my death ye will utterly corrupt yourselves, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And evil will befall you in the latter days, because you will do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. Here ends the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name and his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is written in the third chapter of the first epistle of John, beginning at the first verse. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth, also the law for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. Let that doeth righteousness is righteous. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. Here ends the second lesson.
Lord, now let us tell thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, the King of glory, who has exalted thine only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph into thy kingdom in heaven, we beseech thee, leave us not comfortless, but send to us thine Holy Ghost to comfort us and exalt us unto the same place whither our Saviour Christ is gone before, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Confident that God hears us when we cry out to him in our need, we now place our petitions before him. May all Christian people be one in the glory of Christ. Increase the power of preaching that your church may make the faith known to all nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Draw the races and nations of the world to better understanding. Break down the barriers of hostility and ignorance that hold your children apart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Make us bearers of your word to those among whom we live. May we be sensitive to discern and put right the misunderstandings that cause division. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and relieve all those who suffer for their faith. Protect your chosen ones who are rejected by the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant to the departed the eternal life in which is true knowledge of God in Christ. May they forever share in his glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time, with one accord, to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Regina Cheni, Laetare, Alleluia. Qui aqua meruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia. and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia, for the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we pray, that with his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life through Christ our Lord. 